What's up everybody, it's Chris Hill from Stud City and today, interesting topic, I have a video, Lego has failed and I wanted to share my thoughts and it's mostly around the new Lego 90 year anniversary castle as well as the forest hideout gift with purchase set uh, and I kind of wanted to gather my thoughts because I don't think I did that very well in a video and if you're interested in that, stick around because uh, it's going to be an exciting one while you're at it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We are on our way and our journey to over 10,000 subscribers, and I think it's awesome. So appreciate you guys. I really do. You guys are absolutely awesome. Uh, and the other thing is if you do plan on ordering since the Lion's Night Castle is available to the public as of today, uh, if you do plan on ordering this, you'll get that uh, poly bag. But also, if you want a discount, you get Two and a half percent cash back in uh, the comments in the description below using Rocketon using my code. We also uh, get an entry for a thousand dollars, but you'll also get a thirty dollar bonus for signing up. So now that that's on the out of the way, let's go ahead and jump straight on to today's video because it is going to be an exciting. To one. sum up everything uh, as quickly as I can, uh, yes, the 90 year anniversary castle released officially today to the public it was only available for uh, vip members on august 3rd uh, you will get a pirate's treasure vip add-on pack it's actually pretty cool it's that goes just for any purchases of 50 dollars or more uh, however i thought today's video i would kind of showcase the castle because in reality this set is absolutely awesome it it, it looks fantastic uh, and i wanted to talk about the price point that it's at and uh, some of the pros and cons just really quickly i mean you do get some awesome minifigs from you know fantasy era uh, so it is good to see the castle is a obviously throwback to the 1984 castle, uh, which is pictured above. Uh, it looks so much better than the one <laughs> above, but uh, you know what? Uh, it, it's a blast from the past and it's nostalgic. And I think Lego got carried away with this price point. And the reason why I think so uh, is because we're kind of comparing it. Well, at least I am comparing it to Ninjago City Gardens. In my opinion, Ninjago City Gardens is like a, a standard. I compare everything to this set, uh, especially of high values. You know, it came with over 55 500 pieces which is crazy and it's an absolute monstrosity of a set uh, and it retailed for $300 and then meanwhile we have the castle with 4,500 pieces uh, retailing for $400 and it, it blows my mind it really does uh, and I know it's two completely different genres but uh, at the end of the day you will get <laughs> a poly bag for the purchase as of this point in time uh, but no I, I it blows my mind that $400 uh, will get you that castle and $300 um, was for that Ninjago City Garden and, and the other thing I wanted to talk about was the forest hideout and how this failed. It's it's absurd in my opinion. I think what my theory is, is this was a June promo. Why Lego released it as a June promo is beyond me. But in reality, it came out in June. And I believe that the re-release that was supposed to be August 1st to August 15th of this promotional item was only the excess that lego had they never manufactured anymore they never produced anymore and it was just excess that they needed to get rid of considering it sold out in less than what eight or ten hours but also guys in my opinion this gift with purchase the forest hideout should have been exclusive to this set right here the lion knight's castle it should have been an exclusive gift with purchase to the lion knight's castle and i think that's a huge miss on lego's part um and especially because i in my opinion i do i from the numbers that i've seen i don't think the castle sold extremely well as and anticipated but in general guys i I, it, I think it's a huge miss on lego's part and i really wanted to capture that video uh, on some of my thoughts and opinions i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments below uh, i will be taking off to greece so i will do my best part to keep in communications uh so that's dropping the ball right there for you guys uh the other thing is make sure to take advantage of that rocketing deal you will get 30 bucks and you for signing up and then a thousand dollars uh possibly for that entry i think that's really cool so as always guys i will see you on uh, the other side of the country here uh thanks so much for watching guys we'll see you in the next one stud city out